hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is patience if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed kindly click the subscribe button right now it is free so today we are going to be making this beautiful tool skirt let's get started So for this video, I'll be using the satin fabric and this tool that is like 20 yards. So this is my waistline and I'll start my measurements. My waist to hip is nine and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and mark nine and a half inches and connect the points. The full length is 20 inches because the skirt I want to make is a short A-line skirt. So I'll go ahead and mark out 20 inches and connect the points. I'll be adding three and a half inches. I'll be using three inches to hem the lower part of the skirt. Then I'll be using half inch on the upper part of the skirt. That is the waist that I'll use to join the band. So this is my waistline, my hip line, the full length and the 3 inches I will use to hem the skirt. Now I will be taking my circumference measurement. The waist measurement I am working with is 33 inches divided by 4 is 8.25. So I will go ahead and mark 8.25 and I will add 1 inch for sewing allowance. The hip circumference I'm working with is 42 inches divided by 4 is 10.5. I'll be adding one and a half inch for ease because I want it to be free. Then I'll be adding one inch for sewing along. So I'll be adding three inches on this line that is on the full length. That is 15 inches then I'll add one inch for sewing allowance I'll do the same on the on this line so I'll go ahead and connect the points and cut it So I folded my fabric and I left one inch for zip allowance. Then I'll place my front piece on the one inch I left. Then I'll pin it down first before I cut it.
so I'll divide the back piece into two. I'll place them together, both sides facing each other. I'll go ahead and pin it because I'll be sewing the one inch I left for zip allowance. I'll go ahead and mark seven inches for my zip. For the band, I want it to be one and a half inches, so I'm marking out four inches here. So when I fold it, it will be one and a half. So the waist circumference I'm working with is 33 inches, so I'll make sure the band I will make is up to 33 inches. So for my band, I measured half inch on both sides. Then I I will fold it in this way. I'll fold the both I'll fold both the half inch in. Then I'll fold it again this way and iron it. So this is the one and a half inches for my band. So I'll go ahead and place the back piece and the front piece together. That is good sides facing each other. Then I'll sew the one inch I left for sewing allowance on both sides. So this is it. I've also hemmed the lower part of the skirt and I've joined it with the one inch I left for sewing allowance. So the next thing I'll be doing is to attach my band on the skirt. So I'll be joining the band with one side of the half inch I left for sewing allowance. I'll make sure good sides are facing each other. Then I'll pin it down if I sew it. So this is it, I've joined it together. So to attach my zip, I'll make sure where I, at the beginning of my zip is on the middle of the band. Then I'll go ahead and pin it before I sew it.
So I'll go ahead and sew the zip this way. Then I'll top stitch the other half of the band. So I've done that and this is it. So I'll be sewing the two on the skirt. At this point, it depends on your preference. You can make it three steps or four steps and you can even make it two steps. So for me, I'll be making three steps and you can also measure it anyhow you want it. Depend if you want anywhere you want the steps to be. I mean your two. So for me, I'll I'll mark six inches from the full length. Then from the six inches, I'll 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 mark eight inches. Then from the eight inches, I'll mark I'll mark seven point five inches because I want like half inch on I I want the band to show a bit so I'll leave half inch for the band. So if you don't want the band to show, you can just mark eight inches and you sew the two on top of the band. So to cut the two. It depends on the length you want and how many steps you want also. For me, this is the easiest method I always use. So I've gone ahead to cut out the length of the tool that I want, which is 12 inches. Then I added half inch for sewing allowance. That is on a single tool because I'll be using it as a pattern to cut the rest. So what I normally do is I fold my two repeatedly, like more than 12 inches, then iron it with a low temperature for it to align. Then I'll go ahead and place the 12 and a half inches I cut earlier, because I'm using it as a pattern. Then I'll place it, I'll place it on the one of the ones that folded. I'll pin it down and cut it out. I feel this is a simple method, but you can use any other method you want.
so with this method you can cut more of the length of two that you want like on this fold i got about 10 i got about 10 too I'll go ahead and remove the pins again this depends on how full you want to gather your two you can use three four or even five that is if you want it really full but I'll be using three I'll first um, pin them together then I'll sew the half inch I left for sewing allowance Then I'll use the longest stitch on my sewing machine to sew on the half inch. So this is it. I've gone ahead to sew the half inch with the longest stitch on my sewing machine. So the next thing I'll do is to gather it. I'll pick one of the thread, then I'll gather it. So this is how it came out and I did the same thing to all the 20 yards of the two. The next thing I'll do is I'll Pin the two I gathered on the lines I drew earlier on the skirt. That is with the half inch I left for sewing allowance. I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys how it will come out before I sew it. So this is how I sewed the first step and I sewed the second step this way and then the same thing with the third step. Remember I left half inch on the band so this is how it came out. So as you can see you can easily open the zip and close it back what I did was I sewed the two very close to the zip that way you will not notice there's a zip on the skirt so this is it as you 
so guys if this tutorial was helpful in any way <laughs> kindly give it a thumbs up and subscribe turn on the notification bell bye